My name is Lauren Ekstrom, and welcome to your practice. This is a recording of a live 60-minute class that I offer for free weekly. Be sure to click subscribe below and then sign up for my newsletter at laurenekstrom.com so that you can receive the invitation to join these classes live for free each time I teach them. I hope you enjoy your time on the mat, and I'll see you at the end. Welcome to your practice. We're celebrating the release of our new program this week called Yoga Detox 30 that's available only on Inner Dimension TV. And while this class that we're going to do today is not a sequence specifically from that program, there are aspects of movement principles and transitions that are to give you a sneak peek into some of those practices. But really, most importantly, the theme that we're going to interweave through today's practice you a little bit of insight into some of the deeper emotional and mental aspects that we touch on during that program. So if you're not familiar and you haven't heard about it already, this new program is a 30-day program of yoga, meditation, breath work, special guided talks, as well as journal prompts and exercises to help you release whatever is no longer serving you in a positive way. For some of us, that might be certain addictions. And we all have addictions. You know, some of us are addicted to binge watching television or online shopping. Some of us have addictions to substances that might be food or things like alcohol. Others of us have addictions to relationships that we can't seem to let go of in our lives that are toxic. So there's something for all of us that we become quote unquote addicted to. And today's practice is really going to touch into a little bit of what we go through in that program, getting to some of the underlying roots and reasons as to why those things come up. Not because there's something wrong with us, but because we're human and we have these core vulnerabilities that ultimately these things that we're addicted to are trying to protect us from. And what that does in turn allows us to be compassionate toward ourselves, toward that part of us that keeps repeating a habit or a behavior that we on a conscious level know is no longer serving us in a positive way. And so the big S self, who you really are at your essence does not need to change and is not broken. And we can have compassion for the youngest version of ourselves that kind of keeps turning toward these toxic habits. And from that place of compassion, really from a place of inner friendliness, then we get to initiate some change. So we will start today kneeling and you might already be there in that position. If it's uncomfortable for you to kneel back onto the feet and the ankles, which is so understandable, the tops of the feet get really tight, the ankles get really tight, you could just separate your heels and sit on a block instead. So find a place that's sustainable for you. There's a quality of discipline, but also imbued with that is the quality of kindness. You're not here to punish yourself, you're here to love yourself. Turn your palms down onto your thighs and sit up tall. If it's okay for you to close your eyes, close your eyes. Or just drop your gaze down toward the floor and soften the corners of your eyes if you prefer eyes open, knowing that there is always a place for you in this practice. And we're really just gonna start to drop right in. So take a deep breath in through your nose and open your mouth and let it go. And two more times, deep breath in, down into your belly, across your back. So it's three dimensional, not just up in the chest. And then open the mouth, sigh it out. Get totally empty, feel that little hug of the abdominal wall, pull back. 
One more time, biggest breath of the day, down and into the navel, out and into the sides of the waist, high up into the chest, and open the mouth, exhale, and let it go. Bring your hands to your heart and bow your chin. Whether eyes are opened or closed, as if to look back down into your own heart and to ask this question, what have you been organizing your life around not feeling? Maybe you've been organizing your life around not feeling uncertain or not feeling imperfect, imperfect. Maybe you've been organizing your life around not feeling dependent on other people. And so just ask yourself this question, what have you been organizing your life around not feeling? And sense that every time you behave in that way, it takes you out of the present moment and it takes you out of your body. And in turn, what that does is it protects you, that it's a survival strategy that's come in in some way to prevent you from feeling your core vulnerability. And so if we want to live a life that's present, if we want to live a full life, we have to lay the groundwork now. We have to practice for what's going to come up off the mat and in the day. And so to know that you're in a safe place, to know that you are taking care of yourself and to set the intention today to practice allowing yourself to feel whatever that core vulnerability is today, to allow yourself to feel dependent or overwhelmed or even uncertain and to know that you can survive it, that you can come back to your breath, you could take child's pose, you can feel into your body, and there is an intelligence inside of you that knows how to be with it. So from this place, take one final deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Blink the eyes open, shift onto hands and knees, tabletop pose, removing a block if it's been there between the heels. And in this tabletop pose today, go ahead and tuck your toes. And as your toes tuck a little stretch to the arches of the feet, on an inhale, lift your right leg up and off the mat and sweep your left arm forward, pausing for a moment, practicing stability, a little bit of core strength as you draw traction through the spine, growing long from right foot to left hand. Take one more inhale here as you reach the limbs out, then exhale and pull elbow to knee, curl in, tap and touch. Maybe you add a little bit of a twist, trying to get the elbow outside of the knee. Then inhale, reach it all back out, lift it all up and exhale, set everything down and then hover your knees an inch off the mat and notice that you've stayed in your body. As your core turns on, you maybe shake and vibrate a little bit and you stay with your breath. Then soften your face, your jaw, the corners of your eyes, and exhale, let the knees rest back down. Inhale, lift the left leg up and off the mat and sweep the right arm forward as you draw those two points out and you check in again. Press down into the pads of the left fingertips, lift up through the navel and the sides of the waist, And then rather than trying to create a back bend, can you just create length through the sides of the body as you draw right arm away from left leg? Take one more inhale here, and then exhale elbow, maybe to the outside of the knee, maybe not in this lifetime, that's okay. Find a place for you, add a little twist, continue breathing behind it as we just set up what we're about to flow through, give it one last little squeeze. Reach it all out, inhale, make some space. Exhale back to that tuck-toed tabletop pose and then hover the knees again an inch or so off the mat. Notice that you didn't drop your head, so you gaze a little bit forward beyond the tips of your fingers, maybe beyond the edge of your mat. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees down and we flow. Inhale, lift right leg, left arm. Exhale, elbow to knee twist. Inhale, reach it all out. Exhale to the mat and for a moment, float the knees off the mat. 
Set them down. Inhale, lift left leg and right arm. Exhale, elbow to knee twist. Inhale, extend the limbs out. Exhale to the mat, float the knees an inch. Set the knees down and we keep going. Inhale, right leg, left arm. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend the limbs out. Exhale, knees to the mat. Inhale, float the knees. Exhale, lower them to the floor. Inhale, left leg, right arm. Exhale, little twist. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale to the mat. Inhale, knees float. Exhale, tap them to the mat. Last time, inhale, right leg, left arm. Exhale, twist. Inhale, send it all out. Exhale to the mat. Inhale, knees hover. Exhale, tabletop pose. Inhale, left leg, right arm. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, sweep it out. Exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, knees hover for the last time. Exhale to the mat, pause there. Drop your belly, lift your heart, take an inhale, slip your shoulders down your back. And then with your toes tucked, lift your knees up, press back to a very short downward facing dog. Then inhale back forward and exhale, knees to the mat, tabletop pose. Inhale, belly drops and heart lifts. This time, exhale round, tuck the tail, drop the head. Inhale, belly melts, heart lifts, shoulders slip down, toes still tucked. Exhale back to a short down dog. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, knees to the mat. Inhale, belly low and heart high. Exhale, curl in, hang the head, lift the navel to the back. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back. This time, step your feet into your normal down dog distance. And as you walk your heels back, drive still through the pads of the fingers and then let your ears align with your biceps, your upper arms. Maybe close your eyes once again and come back to the rhythm and the sound of your breath. And if you haven't already, starting to slip into the sound of ujjayi. So drawing the breath through the nose and along the back of the throat, if that's available today. And really starting to set this inner musical rhythm that gives your mind a place to keep coming back to and land. As we filter the breath through the nose and we start to warm the body from the inside out, let's flow. Take an inhale, press the thighs back. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step the feet up to meet the hands. Bring the hands maybe to the shins, never pressing the shins back, so so light in the hands. Take an inhale, pull the heart forward, and exhale, fold and bow in. We rise, inhale, circle the arms to the sky. And as you exhale, trace the thumbs to the forehead, the mouth, and to the heart, connecting all of these points. Pause for a moment, press down into your feet, soften the chin once again. And then make this promise to yourself to cultivate inner friendliness, to cultivate kindness. There's a saying, be careful not to become the monster that you fear. And so that thing that you're working to eliminate from your life, we're not here to be its enemy. We're not here even to obsess over it. We want to have friendliness toward that part of ourselves that maybe keeps repeating a behavior or a habit. And so you remind yourself today that you can be in this space, vulnerable and receptive. You know how to stay in your body and with your breath. Let's flow. Inhale, circle both arms to the sky. Exhale, fold over strong legs, dive. Chest out, inhale, make space from waist all the way through crown of head. Hands to the mat as you exhale, step back to plank and lower on the same out breath. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. And from the pit of the navel, exhale, press back to downward facing dog. As you pause in downward facing dog, we kind of go through this checklist in our practice. First, when we arrive back into downward facing dog, we make sure that we're aligned in a way that's appropriate for us today. Knowing that when the body is placed in a specific way, 
It allows energy to flow freely. And once you check in, you look and see hands about shoulder distance, first finger pointing forward. So there's a slight turning of the wrist, a lift of the forearms as you draw the ears back. Feet about this distance of the sitting bones, maybe wider if you need that space. And then once you know that the body's in place, then you come back to that layer of the breath. And as you tune into the rhythm of the breath, you can't be anywhere else but right here. These are the first two pillars of mindfulness. The body and the breath are always happening right here, right now in the present. And if we can ground into the body, then we can stay with ourselves in those moments when we're feeling a little extra vulnerable, like we're at risk of falling back into that particular habit of behavior or reaction. On an inhale, press the hips back. Exhale, bend the knees, step or if you like, hop the feet up to meet the hands. Flat back, inhale, forward fold, exhale. To the sky, inhale, rise. Exhale, thumbs graze, third eye, lips and heart. We connect to these points. Inhale, sweep the arms up, gaze up, maybe arch back. Exhale, fold over your version of straight legs. Chest out, inhale, make some space. Hands down as you exhale, step back and lower slow. You could always use your knees. Inhale as the shoulders roll back and the heart expands to receive the breath. Down dog as you exhale and then you do the work that no one else can do for you. So you have to be the one that's really checking in. Are you practicing yoga? Or are you practicing getting through your day already, leaning into the future? Or are you ruminating? Are you caught going over things in the past? Your life is only happening right here, right now in this moment. And even though there can be information and skillfulness in knowing how to reflect or even predict, right now you've made this promise to do this one thing, to stay connected to body and breath. And so you take on inner discipline, what we call tapasya in yoga, deep commitment. Inhale, sitting bones up and back. Bend the knees, look forward, step, or hop on the out breath. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise on the inhale, let it carry you to the sky. Exhale, trace that center line, linking head to voice to heart. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold, empty out of heaviness. Inhale, fill the lungs, glance out halfway through the vinyasa as you exhale, step or float back and lower slow. Inhale into your back bend, you rise. Exhale, down dog, be there because we just have one more of these and then they're already in the back. And so you find yourself again and again, coming back, hands on mat attention in body, not through the lens of interpretation or story, but going right to the level of sensation. So maybe you notice tightness in the calves. Maybe you notice heat in the arms. These are all things that are happening right now. And at times, even though they're intense, you know how to be with them. That intensity doesn't mean that it's hurting us, doesn't mean that it's causing harm. And so if you can do that at the level of sensation with the body, then you can start to do that with some of your core vulnerabilities. Take an inhale, press the thighs back. Last time, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Chest out, inhale, your heart bleeds. Exhale, fold and drop the head. Inhale to the sky as you rise. Exhale, trace that center line right back down toward the heart of intention. Inhale, reach up, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold, get empty. Glance out, inhale, fill the lungs. Hands down, step back as you exhale, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Down dog as you exhale. On an inhale, float forward to upper push up plank. Exhale, lower your right forearm down and then your left forearm down. 
On an inhale, press your right palm down and then your left palm down, come back to plank. Exhale, left forearm down, right forearm down. Inhale, left hand down, right hand down, back to plank. One more time, right and left, right elbow down, left elbow down, right arm straight, left arm straight. Last time, left elbow down, right elbow down, left hand down, right hand down, hold plank, take an inhale. Chaturanga with integrity. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, not rushing through intensity. Down dog as you exhale, press back. Take an inhale, lift the hips high. Bend the knees, look forward, step or fly. Flat back, inhale, make some space. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, drop the hips, sit back into chair pose. And it doesn't need to be your deepest chair, but hug the inner thighs in. So that brings you to your midline and it helps you stabilize. Shift the weight into the left foot, hover the right knee toward the chest, and then reach the right leg straight out. So you're in my most hated version of chair pose, one-legged chair. And so we're bringing up intensity on purpose because we wanna practice seeing that we can be with things that are strong, maybe even things we have strong reactions to. And we don't have to run away from it. We don't have to get stuck in a story about whether we like it or don't like it. Rebend the right knee, place the right foot down, rebend the knees, recommit to chair, and then float the left knee to the chest. Now you know you can do it. Hug the right hip in, and then kick the left leg out and just be there. Watch that awareness can hold everything that you're experiencing. You can ask these questions, is this hurting me? Is this causing harm? And almost always the answer will be no. And then you can stay, you can feel into your right foot. You can feel into the spaciousness of your breath. Place the left foot down, take one more inhale, chair pose. How cool that you can be with that. Then forward fold, exhale. Inhale, pull your spine long. Hands down, step back, lower slow and strong. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Down dog as you exhale. Lift the right leg up on an inhale. Bring your right knee to your left elbow as you exhale. Keeping the shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, right knee to right elbow. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale the right leg all the way back up to the sky. And as you exhale, step your right foot through between your hands, stay down low. Come up onto your fingertips in a high runner's lunge. Take an inhale, pull your chest forward. And as you exhale, hop switch. Left foot forward, right foot back. Take an inhale, pull your spine a little bit long. And then on the exhale, Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, engage, gives you a little float, hop switch. Pause there. On an inhale, rise up to crescent pose. Take a breath, reach up. Inhale, you descend into the right thigh. Exhale, chest to thigh, arms by the sides. Just clear all that junk out. Back up to crescent pose, inhale. Cactus the elbows, open the heart. And as we open the heart, you come into a little bit of a back bend. And back bending helps us to increase the capacity of the lungs. Most of us are undersaturated in our oxygen intake. So we want to literally take in more life. On an inhale, back up to crescent, reach high. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to plank and through the vinyasa descent. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Down dog, exhale, lift the left leg up, inhale, second side. Exhale, left knee toward the right elbow. The shoulders stay square. It's just the hips that create the twist. Inhale, left knee to left elbow. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, back to three leg downward facing dog. Exhale, left foot steps through, come onto the fingertips. Take an inhale to lengthen the spine and then exhale, hop switch, right foot forward, left foot back. Inhale, hop switch, exhale. Your left foot is forward, rise up, crescent pose, inhale. Chest to thigh, arms by the sides, exhale. You're cleaning things up. Rise up, inhale, back to crescent. Exhale, open the chest. 
pull the tips of the shoulder blades in. So you're literally counterposing life. We spend so much of our life in a forward fold. And understandably, it's like we're protecting the soft tissue side of the body. So now in this safe place, you open up that vulnerable part of you and you receive. Inhale, back up to crescent lift high. Hands down as you exhale, step back through the vinyasa, lower slow or skip it, you guys. Inhale, up dog or cobra, you flow. Down dog, exhale. Pause there for a moment and just remember the child's pose is always here if you need it. We're going to flow through this and there is this invitation for you to stay with your experience. Now notice the difference between stay with your experience and stay with what I'm teaching. Those are two different things. You might need to go to child's pose to stay with your experience. This is totally up to you. What allows you to stay with your breath and your body? That's the yoga. Here we go. Inhale, press the hips back. Bend the knees, exhale, step or hop. Inhale, chest out. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, inhale to chair. Stand, exhale, hands to the heart. Rebend the knees, inhale, weight to heel, sit back, fold on the out breath. Inhale, chest lifts out, hands down, exhale, step back, lower slow. Inhale as your shoulders roll. Exhale, down dog, right leg up, inhale. Right knee, left elbow, exhale. Right knee, right elbow, inhale. Right knee, left elbow, exhale. Right leg to the sky, inhale. Right foot through, stay down low, exhale, hop switch. Inhale, pull your heart out, exhale, hop switch. Crescent pose, inhale, rise. Chest down, exhale, arms by your sides. Inhale, float up, exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, back up to crescent, hands down as you exhale, step back and descend. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow touch. Inhale, left knee, left elbow connect. Exhale, take it back to the twist. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left foot between hands. Pull the chest out, inhale. Hop, switch, exhale. Chest lifts, inhale, hop, switch, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, float. Chest down, arms back on the out breath. Inhale, rise to the sky. Exhale, elbows to the sides. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands down, step to plank and let it all go. Inhale, lift your heart and open your chest. Down dog, exhale, pause and down dog. And ask yourself, did I stay with my experience? And for most of us, the answer is probably no. But at some point in time, you checked out. You dissociated, you disembodied, you went somewhere else. You started to just go through the motions. Maybe you went into your head. And this is not ever to criticize or judge. It's to start to wake up. What are the habits? When are the moments that I leave what's right in front of me? And can I practice staying with it? That we have multiple rounds to practice it because if you can do it here on your mat, then you can do it in your life. Here we go, round two, inhale, press back. Exhale, knees bend, step or hop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bow in. Knees bend, inhale to chain. Stand, hands to the heart, back to where it matters most. Rebend the knees, inhale, sit deep. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back, elbows in. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, twist it to the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale, twist again. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Take an inhale to lengthen. Hop, switch, exhale. Inhale to make space. Exhale, hop, switch. Crescent pose, inhale. Arms back, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Elbows in, exhale. Crescent pose, deep breath. Hands down, step it back. Ride the out breath to the mat. 
Inhale, fill your lungs up. Exhale, hips lift. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, left to right. Take it to the left. Twist it to the right. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, step it through light. Inhale, pull your chest out. Hop switch on the out breath. Inhale, drive the heel back. Hop switch again. Inhale, rise up, cross and pose. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, circle high. Exhale, open your chest. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale through the vinyasa or not. You have choices on your mat, in your practice, in your life. And are you taking your power back? Land in your body. Arrive in this breath. Maybe you close your eyes, go to the place inside of yourself, whether you're in down dog or you're choosing to rest. It feels at the very least neutral to be with, but maybe even good. That little tickle of sweat that maybe is starting to percolate above the upper lip, the feeling of warmth in the body, the depth of the breath. Let's go through it one more time if it's right. And you practice staying with it. Inhale, hips back. Exhale, knees bend, step or float. Inhale, glance up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, chair you sit. Exhale, rise from head to heart. You connect. Rebend the knees. Inhale, chair. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, pull the chest out. Exhale, hands down, step or float back, let it go. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, step it through, take an inhale, pull your chest out. On your fingertips, exhale, hop switch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hop switch. Inhale, crescent rise. Chest down, exhale, sweep back. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, both arms sweep. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower, slow. Inhale, shoulders roll. Exhale, down dog last time. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale, swing it to the other side. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, gaze out halfway. Exhale, hop switch. Maybe you float in the middle for a beat. Take it in breath. Exhale, hop switch. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, chest down, arms behind. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, pull the elbows in. Inhale, circle the arms up. Hands down, exhale, step back, elbows hug. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot through. Inhale, rise to crescent pose. As you exhale, drop your arms by your sides, bend your back left knee. Some of us might tap the knee with the mat. Then inhale back up to crescent. And as you exhale, turn your heels in, your toes out, bend your knees, bring your hands to your heart. So you find temple pose for a moment. Then to your back left leg, we're gonna pivot, crescent pose to the back of your mat, lift your arms up, take an inhale. Drop your arms down, tap your back right knee to the mat as you exhale. Inhale, back up to crescent pose. Then exhale, heels in, toes out, bend the knees, pull the hands to the heart, back to temple. To the top of the mat, crescent pose. Inhale, now right toes forward, arms above. Place the hands down as you exhale. Straighten your front right leg and step your left foot up about a third of the way fold over your straight right leg. Drop your head, Not at a little yes, Not at a little no. Bring a smile to the face. So important on this journey of inquiry that we have a sense of humor, that we're able to really kind of laugh at our own messy humanness that as much as we would like to change, 
something in our lives, a habit, a behavior, we keep coming back to it. And so to have, again, compassion, because there's a part of you that's just trying to protect you from feeling. So you ask yourself again, what have you been organizing your life around not feeling? Glance out, inhale. Bring your hands to your hips as you exhale. Rise to the sky, inhale, and circle your arms above. Take your arms out, turn your palms to face behind. Maybe just fists together behind the heart. For some people, reverse prayer pose. Wherever you are, press the knuckles in or press the palms in, lift the heart, lift the chest. Take an inhale, roll the shoulders back. And exhale, lean out halfway over your straight right leg. Start to bend your right knee, shift your weight forward and float your left leg up and off the mat so you're in warrior three with your hands behind your back. Life can feel this way sometimes, like our hands are literally tied behind our back. That's that sense of uncertainty of being out of control. And yet we know how to be with it, even though we don't know what's gonna happen next or where we're going. On an inhale, rise to stand. Let the left knee pull in. Keep the hands behind the back. Left ankle above the right knee. Make a figure four shape and start to bend the right knee. And as you bend the right knee, keep the chest up right and just sit down and into the hips. So really, the moment here to practice balance and inner equanimity, to practice focus and presence, these skills that are so essential to staying with our experience, but we can't stay with anything if we don't slow down long enough to be there. So you gotta slow down and stay. Breathe. On an inhale, straighten the right leg. Kick the left leg out in front of you. Take a breath in. Float back through warrior three as you exhale. And as you hold warrior three, start to lower the chest. Keep the hands behind the back and as if you could go to standing splits with your hands still behind your back. Maybe your left leg is shaking like crazy. Maybe there's strong sensation. Take one more inhale. Lower your hands down, bend your front right knee, step your left foot back, seal it flat. Rise up to warrior one on an inhale. Drop your hands behind as you exhale. Draw your knuckles down, lift your heart up, peel your chest open, and then humble yourself on the out breath. Dipping your right shoulder inside of your right knee, you're just having your chest parallel to your thigh. It's a beautiful place to be. Knuckles lift up as your shoulders peel off your back and then you get out of your head and practice humility. On an inhale, circle the arms up, take an inhale. Pull your hands to your heart as you exhale. Right thigh talking a lot. Left elbow outside of your right knee, take a twist. One of the deepest twists we find in yoga. So if that's a lot in your right hip, then you come onto your back left toes like we practiced in crescent pose. From either place, let the shoulders stack, let the heart turn to the right, stay with it. Breathe into the intensity. What are you organizing yourself around not feeling? Could you feel it today? Could you trust yourself to the waves? Rise back up, inhale, warrior one, oh my goodness. Exhale, hands to the mat, spin to your back left toes, and then lift your right heel to your right sitting bone. Take your right knee to your left elbow, spin your back left foot flat, send your left arm to the sky, and then kick your right leg out. You could have the foot on the floor for support. You could lift the right leg up. You could even take the left hand out, catch the foot and lift the leg, take a breath. As you exhale, plant your left palm down and stack your right big toe and second toe over your back left heel. So you're in a stacked foot version of plank. Take an inhale, elbows bend, exhale. Inhale, straighten the arms, two more to go. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, both arms straight. One more time, exhale, hover. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the right toes, and exhale through the vinyasa slow. Inhale, cobra or up dog, you rise. Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale, we go right into it. 
Exhale, step the left foot through. On back toes, inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, drop the arms by the sides. Tap the back right knee down toward the mat. Inhale, back up to crescent. Exhale, both heels in, both sets of toes out. Bend the knees through temple pose. Bring the hands to the heart. You strengthen your foundation. You strengthen your roots, your legs. And then crescent pose to your right leg. So you switch perspective, pivot to your back left toes. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, drop your arms down, tap the left knee to the mat. Inhale, back up to crescent. Heels in, toes out, exhale, pass through temple. Hands at the heart, chest lifted, gaze lifted. Crescent pose to your left leg, pivot to your right toes. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, plant the hands down, frame your front left foot. Rock your hips back, straighten your left leg and step your right foot up about a third of the way. Drop the head, sigh it out the mouth. And imagining that in some way you could smile with the heart. You could smile with the corners of the eyes. You don't even need to smile with your mouth. You begin just to bring yourself into coherence. So your mind, your heart, your body, they're all in the same place at the same time. On an inhale, glance out halfway. Float your hands to your hips as you exhale. So you feel the navel lift, the inner thighs hug in. Use the inhale to press and rise to stand. At the top, circle the arms up. Spread the arms out, bend the elbows, bring the fists together back behind you. Sitting bones drop, pubic bone lifts. Let that start to go up your spine as you roll the shoulders back. You find a sense of ustrasana or camel pose. Inhale here. Exhale, pour your chest out halfway with your left leg still straight. Start to bend your left knee. Shift forward and float up. Warrior three with your hands behind your back. Now this gets tricky because the mind knows what's coming. Resist the urge to jump ahead or predict what it's gonna be like. Notice when you get caught in an interpretation or expectation, let the story go. On an inhale, rise up, right knee to chest. Stack the right ankle above the left knee, bend the left knee deeply, sit down into the left thigh and you find that figure four shape. Flex the right foot and go to a place inside of yourself that you can be with. That might be your breath. Is there a place where the breath ooh, feels really expansive and profound? Maybe there's a place in your body, like the sole of your left foot that just feels really grounded and steady. You don't have to go to the place that's super intense. You don't have to stay there. On an inhale, straighten the left leg, kick the right leg out, flex the toes to the face, and then float back through warrior three. Notice if your mind already went to the next pose. Come back, we're not there yet. Take a breath and exhale, start to pour the chest down. Hands still behind the back, like you're gonna go into standing splits without using your hands. How low can the chest go? How high can the right leg lift? Take a breath. Lower your fingertips down, start to bend your left knee, set the feet up for warrior one, and inhale, circle the arms above. Exhale, hands behind the back. Catch one finger over, so the less natural way probably. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. And exhale, bow down your own amount. Gosh, if this leg is really tired, what if you didn't go all the way? I'm not going to. I'm gonna pause with my chest parallel to my thigh because I found that point. It's like, wow, it's intense and it's enough. On an inhale, rise back up to warrior one. Take an inhale. Hands to the heart as you exhale, right elbow outside of the left knee, or you come onto the back toes and we're really just passing through one of the deepest twists in yoga. Hands at your heart, come back to your heart. What are you running away from feeling? 
Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Big breath in, that's it. Hands down as you exhale, spin to your back right toes and lift your left heel to your left sitting bone. Then take your left knee to your right elbow, spin your back foot flat, circle your right arm to the sky, kick your left leg out, it could rest on the floor, it could lift up, you could even take the hand out and catch the foot if you'd like. Take a deep breath in, exhale, right palm down, stack the left foot on top of the right, so you hook the ankle with the first and second toes, breath in. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, arms straight. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, arms straight. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, arms straight. Lift the left foot up and through your last vinyasa. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Down dog, exhale. Final down dog. Press into the hands. Drop the head. Maybe close the eyes and feel how this moment is different. You saw your practice through from the beginning to this point. It's not over yet, so stay. And just acknowledge yourself for having moved through, inevitably, some resistance. Drop the knees down, child's pose, big toes together. Maybe make a little pillow for the forehead with the hands. Go inside. And we'll shift into the breath here. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Through the nose, inhale one, two, three, four. Out the nose, exhale four. Three, two, one, breathe in. One, two, three, four, smooth breath out. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale. One, two, three, four, exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last time, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, deep breath in, Full breath out. Easy breath in. Easy breath out. And rise up to tabletop pose. Walk your hands in, rise to standing on your knees. That reminder that you can always double up your yoga mat if you need some padding under the knees. Tuck the toes under, lift the heels, bring the hands to the low back. Ustrasana camel pose just one time today. Take an inhale. So imagine like you had your thumbs under your armpits and you could lift the sides of your waist up. And then from that place, start to roll the shoulders back. And those legs that you work so strongly today, they stay active. So the legs, the strength of the legs are a key part of our back bending practice. Thighs press forward rather than leaning back. And maybe the hands descend to the heels. They don't need to. Lift the gaze just to the ceiling. Don't drop the head back. So throat open, heart open. Big, long, open line of energy from navel to crown of head. And then with the strength of the legs, rise both shoulders at the same time. Lift evenly. Plant the hands back down in front of you. Cross the ankles behind you. Roll to the sitting bone, soles of the feet together today. Scoot the hips forward, hook the big toes, hug the elbows in. Take an inhale, rebound out of the low back, lift through the crown of the head like you just grew a quarter of an inch. And then exhale, bow the chest forward and fold in so you counter your back bend. 
If it helps, close the eyes. So you resist the urge to dart your eyeballs around your space. There's just one thing that needs your attention right now. And that's occurring inside of you. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's a place inside of you that is asking for your kind attention, for your compassion and your understanding, your patience. When we lay this groundwork, we show up on the mat, in the body, we put ourselves through a certain quality of confrontation, discomfort, and intensity. Because this is the field of practice where we get to just see what it's like to stay with something. So then when you go off and into your day and something happens at work that triggers you, your partner or your child triggers you, you don't run away, you don't fall into defensiveness, you don't push it away. You don't even have to respond, but you learn how to stay in your body. Because the moment that we're able to have embodied immediacy, we have choice. So you're taking your power back. On an inhale, lift your heart up, hands outside your knees, send your legs straight, point your toes toward the earth, drop your hands behind you, fingertips may face forward, some people prefer back, it's up to you, little bend in the elbows, press down into the heels, lift the hips, upward facing plank pose, maybe the toes reach the earth like a little yin for the top of the feet, take an inhale here. Exhale, lower the sitting bones down, bend the knees again, scoop the sitting bones forward, catch the hands behind the thighs, lean back, lift the feet. Knees could stay bent, hands could stay behind the thighs. Maybe your arms straighten, maybe your legs straighten. Take an inhale. As you exhale, twist to the right, catch and interlace everything but the first finger of each hand and then lower your left leg down and lift your left leg up. Lower your left leg an inch above the earth and lift it back up. Just one more time, hover the left heel, lift it back up, come through center, take an inhale, twist to the left, catch and interlace everything but the first finger. Hover the right heel, lift the, le the right leg. Hover the right heel, lift the right leg. Hover the right heel, Lift the right leg back to center. Oh, don't you hate when people do core work at the very end of practice? Take a breath in and onto your back. Hug your knees in. Oh, give them a squeeze. And as you recline onto your back, right into happy baby pose. Catch the outer edges of the feet or the big toes. Spin the soles of the feet to the sky. Rock a little side to side. Soft smile to the face. Acknowledging yourself for practicing today, acknowledging yourself for showing up, even in the moments that you didn't want to. Draw your knees back in. Let's take an easy twist. Drop both knees to the right, shift the hips to the left. Right hand outside of the left thigh. Cactus the left elbow and maybe turn the gaze to the left. You don't have to. Breathe into the left side of the waist. See if you can seal the back of the left shoulder to the mat. Take the attention back inside once again. And so you just start to notice when the attention falls back into that pattern, that habit, the habitual way of thinking. It can feel safe for us because it's familiar, but right now is not the time to be planning, to be ruminating, fantasizing. On an inhale, come back to center and then switch knees to the left. 
Left hand outside the right thigh, right elbow, the height of the chest, cactus the elbow, open from the center of the heart all the way across the right collarbone up and under the right shoulder. Maybe the head turns to the right, maybe not. And then once you place the body, soften the frame of the body. Like the whole outer shell of the body could just let go of any efforting. You don't need to get anywhere. You're just taking the twist. And then let the medicine of the breath help you receive the medicine of the pose because you're no longer fighting it or stretching against it. On an inhale, come back to center, give the knees a squeeze, take a breath, and release the legs forward and out. Let the feet fall away. Drop the arms by the sides, turn the palms up, maybe lift the shoulder blades a bit. And land in a full and final rest. We'll take a cleansing breath, inhale through the nose. Retain it at the top and then just sip in a little more breath and open the mouth, exhale. Land in this body, in this moment of gratitude and receptivity. But this is what you've been practicing for this moment here to receive fully. And Shavasana, complete and final rest. In an ideal world, we would really stay here for probably a good 20 minutes. It's said that we should take about 10 minutes of a final resting pose for every 30 minutes that we practice. So if you have the time and the space to stay in a state of rest today, please do. Otherwise, in your own time, you might bend the knees, curl to one side and cradle the head pressing your way eventually to a seat and drawing your hands to the heart as you take your attention back in. If you can do it on your mat, you can do it in your life. To know that we are not practicing to become some perfect version of ourselves. But we know that our practice is working when the period between our disturbances gets shorter and shorter when something triggers us and we bounce back a little bit faster with a little more kindness. And so you hold this in your heart, this deep understanding that you will never be free <laughs> of some form of suffering. And that isn't actually a problem, but you have the power to begin practicing, remaining open to what it's like to be so totally human and vulnerable what it's like to maybe live with an undefended heart. And so as we transition off the mat into the day, our job is not to perfect ourselves, but to perfect our love. On an inhale, thumbs to the forehead for clarity of thought, fingertips to the lips for thoughtfulness of speech, and hands to the heart for consistency of action, allowing your practice to guide you through everything you're thinking, saying, 
and doing. Namaste. I hope you had a beautiful practice. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. If you haven't already, click subscribe below and then jump over to laurenextrum.com, sign up for my newsletter and join these practices when I teach them live for free. Thank you again for your practice today and I look forward to seeing you next time.